Good morning, Devin Burris, Power Shine Pressure Washing, Valdosta, Georgia here. We are all full of chemicals, got 70 gallons on the truck. I'm about to gas up the machine. We are fully stacked today. We have five on the books. Not sure if we're going to get to all five, um, but we're definitely going to try. And it is currently 828. We're all set up out here on the first property. Got my hoses pulled and I'm gonna start in the far back corner, wash my way around, and rinse my way out. This house isn't terribly dirty and that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and give this machine a crank. I'm trying to crank them out today. Like I mentioned, I've got, got five on the books. Um, so that, can, that can change just depending on the houses. I haven't been to these houses yet. I haven't seen them. So I don't really know what to expect, honestly. Let's see, gas on, choke on. Open the door a little bit. Chemicals turned on. Yeah, so all of these properties should be relatively straightforward wearing the Crocs today. So we're starting, it is 9.09. I'm gonna have to shoot the other side of this from that side of the house. Just try to give you guys a little idea about how long it takes us to wash uh, usually I mean these houses are these houses that I've been doing lately um, it's not been a typical you know house washing I'm, I'm doing this contract work so it's, just, it's a little different in the sense that I'm really trying to get through them Uh, you know, you want to be clean and you want to do it, but the thing is, is they're not paying for a premium house wash. So what they want is for you to come out and do this every year, once a year. They manage, I believe, over 800 properties, and they just need somebody reliable that can show up and do the work. So they gave me a stack of these houses as kind of a trial run and wanted to see what I would do with it. So my thought is do well, knock them out in a decent, timely manner, uh, possibly become their exclusive washer, which would be great for me, them having so many properties that would keep me busy for, a, you know, that's three years of work at least. On top of the clientele that I already have and all the new jobs that come in, all of those things, those are all taken into account. So, yeah, they're not paying for the works necessarily, but I'm going to do the best job that the job, you know, can take, I guess you would say. I mean, this house, it's dirty, but it's not terribly dirty. It's mostly, it's mostly damage and, you know, no amount of cleaning is going to do anything for that. I'm not here to be a magician. We're going to soak this whole house and then rinse our way back. I don't typically do that, but there's only one side that's sort of sunny this morning giving this a good little dwell while I soak the whole house. By the time I make it back around to the fourth side, or rather the first side where we started, then this fourth side will have sat long enough.
I'm not going to video myself rinsing, guys. You get the gist. Chemicals on, chemicals off. Bottom up, bottom up, not top down. I have to remind myself. Terrible about this. All right, here we go. Trick shot. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. All over that chimney. Love it. All done. All rolled up. Can't forget to grab the cones. And uh, I already took my after pictures, as you can see here. It is currently... 9.35, 25 minutes. On to the next one. All hooked up and running here on this second property. Got hoses all pulled around. We'll start on this corner, wash around the front, wash the back, and rinse our way out. It is 9.50. And I have manual hose reels. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm not, uh, make sure I turn the water on. I'm not fancy quite yet. I gotta take measurements because I'd like some 18 inch reels, but I don't know that they'll fit on there behind these bushes is pretty dirty this is very dirty very nasty but as far as the rest of the house goes there's no trees around it or anything so should have chemicals here in just a second i did not flush out my injector on that last job um i don't know if you noticed typically i do but with these being back to back it's not really the point is there Whoop. Make sure we get that in there really well. Hit it from both sides here. You know, I'm starting to love this uh, YouTube thing. It's fun, fulfilling, kind of gives me something to do after after uh, my work for the day. Sorry, mama bird, I scared a bird. I think she was in this bush. You know what they say, bird and hands worth two in the bush. Very thankful to be out here doing this today. God has been very good to me. I give him all the credit and the praise for it and i'll say that publicly because i'm not ashamed of my faith or my belief this business has been successful because of the lord so say what you want think what you will i'm gonna put my faith in jesus i think i'm gonna go two sides at a time on this house Instead of soaping my way all the way around, just with it being so bright and sunny, really don't want to run the risk of flashing any windows or anything. This is where I need the Flow Pro. All right, guys, all out here on job number three. Hoses are all pulled, machines running. We're pulled on the far side of this house, which is the north side, it's the dirty side. It is currently 10.50 and we're about to get started. Bunch of bugs on this one. I wanna go ahead and put a little bit of water on these windows. Some jets. There's an Air Force base uh, right down the road. As you can see, this is the dirty end. Look at that, that is just green. It's great. It's gonna clean up real nice. That end is already looking clean, so. I'm not sure if they let the tenants know or not. I'm just showing up and washing. Uh, like it or lump it kind of seems to be the uh, attitude I have about it. Like it or not, here I come. Ugh. She's crooked today. I effectively turned the camera off by doing that. 
There's a frog, Mr. Deary. Aside from some of the uninteresting stuff, this is why you would get a bigger machine, is because there's no way, absolutely no way, you could bust out three houses in as fast as I have with a four gallon machine. I'm sorry, you just can't. Unless you're skipping a lot of stuff and doing it wrong. And I'm not doing that. So the fastest that you can be while still producing the same quality result. That's that's what I would that's what I would define efficiency as in this business especially. Like you don't want to skimp on your results. You still want to put out the same kind of result for the client, for the customer. I mean, that's why they're paying you in the first place, right? And if you're sacrificing your quality just for the sake of time and speed, well, that's terrible. You're not very efficient. Something must be in the water. South Georgia, everybody wants to spray it. So everybody wants a slice of the pie. And I promise there are enough houses to go around. There are so many houses in my area. That neighborhood I was in yesterday had 300 in it. This one right here probably has 100 and something houses in it. I'm only washing one, you know. Guys get competitive for no reason because the quantity of work is pretty much through the roof. Like, there's enough work for everybody. You have to go out and do it, I guess. A winning attitude is a willing attitude. Wouldn't you agree? If you agree with that, give me a like. A willing attitude is a winning attitude. That's our motto for the day. Okay, here we are on what was the dirty side. That back side only took like two minutes to rinse. I went ahead and rinsed off their back patio for them, kind of as a freebie. It's the little things, guys. You throw little stuff like that in, and they love it. I'm going to hit this car, too, just in case some overspray. I don't want no, uh... Look at the difference. You saw what it was before. It was nasty before, and now it's new. I'm going to knock out the front of the house, and I'll get back with you when I'm rolled up. All done with this one. Got to roll up hoses. It came out really good, really clean. All of this under here was really nasty. It is 1121, about to get on to the next house. Okay guys, out here on job number four for the day. Got my hoses pulled all the way around to this far side. Uh, we're gonna soap all of this and rinse it and then come into this front. We'll be right here so we can roll up kind of slowed down a little bit trying to cool off that last job I was in the direct sunlight so this this job's pretty shady so I'm I'm liking that it is 12 o'clock on the dot we're gonna wash it all I've really enjoyed having you guys along today you know I was talking to my wife just a little bit ago uh, on the drive over here and something that I realized was that on all these jobs the customer and the client what they get out of it traditionally is a clean house peace of mind knowing that their house is clean and traditionally what I get out of it is some before and after pictures and that's it you know they're getting out of it what I'm putting into it. So at the end of the day, I feel drained. And then what I get out of it is the satisfaction of quality work, the before and afters. And this YouTube experience has been sort of like an amplified version of that in the sense that whether or not anybody's watching these videos, I get to, with my children, with my wife, I get to relive these moments of success and of struggle. It's interesting because you don't know that just right off the cuff. Your brain tells you this is gonna be an extra thing you have to do and it's work. Eventually you're not gonna like it. 
because who likes work? I'm just teasing, you might love to work. Look at this grass. Just luscious, fluffy, kind of grass you want to lay in. This is such a hard job. That's sarcasm, by the way. I love being able to call this my job. It ain't a job unless you breaking your arms and legs and losing all your guts and throwing up afterwards. You a sissy. That ain't work. Anybody can do that. But if that was true, everybody would be doing it. Look at me just rambling. I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. I'm a rambling man. You want to know what we do for a living? House washing, roof washing, surface cleaning, baby. Speaking of surface cleaning, they need surface cleaning done here. A lot of these properties I've been to have needed surface cleaning done, but they haven't asked me to do it. And I'm not just gonna do it for free. Well, that's work, you better. Oh, here we are on rinse mode, it's all. A lot of new guys, a bunch of tips and tricks and all this stuff about how to be successful at a job and I'm gonna tell you one of the biggest things for me hose management I'm all snaked out beautifully all rolled up it is 1237 took my time on this one a little bit got this front porch looking good there was leaves and there was a bunch of spiders and bugs and nastiness got all that off 37 minutes for that big house now be your come with tweeting you be Sugar, baby, and I'll be sweet eyes tea. Out here on project number five, this house is really dirty. It's got mold and build up all over it. Just uh I'm not gonna video a whole lot on this job. I feel like I've done quite a bit of footage today. But I will show you what it looks like when I get finished. Time check. It is currently 118. I did stop for some gas and a drink. Check back with you guys in just a few minutes. All done with this in here. Still have to do the front. But I did want to show you guys. All done, all rolled up. We're dumping water here. I don't like to leave a lot of water in the truck. House came out really nice. It is currently 212. So all in all pretty good. This one took a little bit longer. I went back and hit some spots. You gave us a $50 tip. Yeah, all in all a good day. Five projects done. So let's check on the SH level. Curious about that. Did wind up flushing out my injector on this job. End of the day at 45 gallons. 25 gallons, that's about five per house. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure and give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe, turn the bell notification on. Y'all have a good day. Wash on, peace.